Hello, it's me back again with uh, another episode of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. We're still waiting on uh, our friend to catch us up. But, uh, oh, there she is. Wow, okay. Right, so, uh, yeah, we've just arrived in wherever this town is. And I had to cut the last episode short, uh, unfortunately, due to personal reasons. But, um, no, we're, we're back again. So we're going to take a wander around here, maybe see if we can um, sort of sell some of our crap. <laughs> um, and then we might check out the barrows up there. And then head our way up to see the Greybeards. So, uh, yep, let's get on with it. So, uh, yeah, I had um, a top tip from somebody on YouTube. Let me just uh, jump on YouTube a second quickly and find out what the username was, uh, just so I don't get it wrong. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so it was... Um... Uh, Drawtastic Art, uh, saying that if the item is diagonal, it's two-handed, but if it's vertically straight, then it's one-handed, so bows are diagonal, so they take up to two hands in combat. Right, so if you check the inventory and the weapon is shown as diagonal, it's a two-handed weapon, uh, and if it's not, then it's a one-handed weapon, so I'll keep an eye out for that, and if I can find any better weapons that are one-handed, maybe some axes or, or stuff like that, we'll... Um, We'll start using those instead. So top, thanks for the top tip, Drawtastic Art. Excellent stuff. Right. That's the kind of help that I need. Practical and to the point. Excellent stuff. Right. So, um... Hmm. What have we got? The dude here. What does he do? Uh, what have we got for sale? Look. I will. Uh, food and ingredients. Well, I don't really want food, so... We'll forget that. If you pass through again, oh. stop by for a drink. I will. Thank you. Right. Here. So let's get out of here. And let's pop over here. Is there anyone over here? By the Who's gods. This guy? It's true, He's a guard. No, I don't want to break into that. How could mere men bring down such a beast? Okay, so there doesn't appear to be any kind of shop or anything. Which is a little frustrating. Oh, what's this? That looks like a millstone. So... What's this? No, that's locked. Doo -doo -doo. There's a house over there that's kind of a bit run down. So that's out. And this doesn't really... This looks like a sawmill or a wood mill or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. Who's this dude? Is he a guard? Yeah, what does he have to say? What is it? Dragons? Hmm. Well, that kind of limits our options a little. Maybe we should talk to somebody about this Barrows place. Let's see if anyone's got anything to say about it. <coughs> Obviously, I have played through this, but it's been a little while since I've actually played it, so... <coughs> I cannot remember everything. Be careful. Who's this? You don't look like Anything a you can tell me about the High Hrothgar? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Well, that was useful. Thank you. What about this dude? If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrel on the east side of town. It's haunted. Oh. Okay, looking for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Ooh, bounty. Broken Helm Hollow. 
Okay. All right, fine. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrel. I think they're guarding it. Oh, really? It certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrel? Oh, I might just be able to uh, investigate it. And there we go. If there's anything you can do, be my guest. I will. If you okay. pass through again, let's go. Let's check out the barrows. So, I suppose we could check our inventory to see if we do have any non-diagonal weapons. Ah, so you see that's diagonal, so it's... So we could use that, but it doesn't do as much damage as the weapon we're holding. Uh, oh, yeah, you see the... Okay. I don't have anything at the moment, so let's just get up here and check it out. going to sneeze <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me right so what have we got we've got an embalming tool which I'm not really interested in none of this really has any uh, interest so Hmm. There must be more to it than this. Ah, there we go. So this will either go very well or very badly. We're only level 4, so we're not really that powerful. But we seem to be doing okay, and we did manage to survive the bear attack. So let's... Uh, See if we can survive some spirits who glare at people. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take those. I don't really want an embalming tool. It's a little bit dark here, isn't it? So. So we got a spirit there. Leave this place. Um, good thanks. Right, so we've got uh, ruined books, bits and pieces, nothing really exciting. Right, so we need to open that door. So let's try that one. Well, that's not very helpful. So if we put that one, what if we put them both up? Okay. Ouch. That wasn't good. Right, so. Ah, there we go. Ow. Bit of heal juice. There we go. Right. So we have a door there. A portcullis there. So we'll check the... What does the door say? Iron door. Right. See if we can pick this one. I'm feeling lucky. Mm. Oop. go. Garnet 
some gold and a steel dagger. We'll take the steel dagger and we can probably sell it. Okay, so that's the way that we came from. Let's open that. Run through there. So we've got another door there and there. Hmm. Let's go this way. Spirits. So we've got an alchemy lab, which is no use to me at the moment. Bit of gold on a lockpick will never go amiss. Right. Uh, not going to read all through that. Ah, forget it. Got oh that's the dead dude. Got the altar of the phantom. Nothing there that I want. Okay, so that's this room sorted. So I need to go back and go through this door maybe. Ooh. Whatever it is in here, it's well guarded. Oh, there's another one of these. Ah, another golden claw thing. So I'm assuming I can use the golden claw. So what was it? It was... Items miscellaneous. Golden claw. So we got... The bear, the butterfly, and an owl. Okay, so. Okay, there doesn't seem to be a bear. Hmm. Does the golden claw work? Sapphire claw. Ah. Right. So we don't have the sapphire claw. This dude didn't have it on him, did he? No. Hmm. Well, that's quite frustrating. <coughs> um, yeah. Might want to take a bowl. Oh, just came from there. So, back up here. Really? No, I didn't want that. Ooh. Ow. Need to open this door now. So, um, hmm. Sapphire Claw. May have to, 
that. Oops. Come back to this one. Where would we find the Sapphire Claw? That is the question. Hmm. That'd be too easy to find it in here, wouldn't it? So. Maybe if we run back and talk to this chap, he might know or have heard of somebody who might have the Sapphire Claw. If not, we'll uh, make all our way up to the uh, the Greybeards. You don't look like a pilgrim. My father visiting Iverstead. We don't need a room, maybe a drink, um, you name it. About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some yeah, kind him. of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. We never saw him again. Hmm. Okay. I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm. Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Okay. So those are our Eyes options. Open. That's how they get to you. Um, don't want to steal anything just yet. At least not until our thiefy levels are a lot higher than uh, than they are. Right, so uh, hmm, let's have a look at our quests. The Golden Claw, right? So we'll remove that and we'll go take the claw to Lucan. Unless, of course, it's miles away, which it is. But we could fast travel. Yeah, we'll fast travel, and then we'll fast travel back again. It's all XP, so um, it's it's never a bad thing to uh, complete quests. Right, Lucan. Where is Lucan? In here, is it? Right. Ah, while we're here, we could sell some stuff maybe as well. Two birds, one stone, and all that shiz. Well, one of us has to do something. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, yeah, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> yeah. Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Quest complete. 400 gold. 
Thank you so much for taking. Oh, I wanted to oh, say us. Bit of that. What has he got under miscellaneous? Nothing that I really want. Hmm. the same damage as what I've got in the armor. I don't need a shield. Not really anything there. Oh, but I could sell stuff. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them right, treasure. So weapons, let's see what I can sell. <coughs> Sell that. Don't want to sell that. Which is better, that one or that one? I sort of sell that one. Don't want to sell that. And the steel dagger. Don't sell the steel arrows. And two steel swords. And the great sword. What do we got here? Sell that. And two silver necklaces. <coughs> Might as well sell those as well. No, oh, let's sell them for a fight venom as well. Scrolls, we don't want to sell the scrolls. Charcoal. Ooh, dragon bone. Yeah, let's sell that. What the hell? Keep the dragon scales because you might be able to make some armor out of it later. Uh, get rid of the wolf pelts. Excellent. Right. Okay. So. All right. Then. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Back into Skyrim. And um, we'll fast travel back to the. Um, is, there any, is it worth trying to? No, we can't sharpen the weapon there, can we? So yeah, we'll fast travel back to Ivar's dead. There we go. Darkness imprisoning me. Um, yeah. So we got. Might as well continue on through here. Maybe it's worth waiting until daytime. Yeah, what is it? 9.30. There we go. 
Okay, so we'll just wait here until it's light. <coughs> Get in there slowly. There we go. Job done. Right. So... Yeah, well, you can get nervous on if you your like. way up the 7,000 steps again. 7,000 steps, here we come. I'm not going to run up them all, I'll tell you that for nothing now. So we'll just run up the ones that we can, just wait for our health, our stamina to come back up, and then run again. Nope. Oh! Easy, tiger. Yeah. That'll teach you. That will take your pelt as well. Let's get up these. This is the only trouble doing playthroughs on RPGs is the extensive amount of walking that you need to do. Try and find something to say while you're walking. Um, <coughs> well, the scenery is nice. Well, if a little misty. Is our friend coming? She appears to be walking around in circles, that's okay. So Hi right, friend. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. No, Sounds fair enough. I remember terms of okay. Yeah, okay, I'm bored of talking to you now. Right, stamina's built up so we can run up here again. Ooh, more wolves. Ha! Oh, in your face! Give me your pelt. Another wolf. Come on then. Oh, in the face again. One shot kill. That's what we like to see. Alright, we should be round about halfway up here maybe now. Getting a bit snowy. Read the other tablet. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, yeah. Take out our friends got left behind. Right. Should almost be there, hopefully now. Or maybe not. Another one of these things. Oh, wind's picking up a little. Oh, there's another dude. Who's this? Or even a dudette. Huh? 
I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Mm. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Fair Until enough, I respect time. your privacy. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Ah, she's managed to catch up with us now. Okay, let's run to the top of the steps. This section at least. <laughs> ah, we have a slight problem. dead here. And we are. Marvellous. Ah, dear, dear, dear. So yeah, um, weapon with cold on it, probably not a good idea. Could probably use the uh, fireball scroll there. So anyway, uh, that looks as good a place as any to uh, leave this episode. Um, there's nothing else to say really is there <laughs> so yeah if you want to leave a, any questions or comments in the comment section below please do so and click the like button would help me out gratefully as well greatly as well so thanks for watching i will catch you in the next episode <laughs>